Hi everyone, you all know this is a data savvy world and there is lots and lots of information and to process that information, to absorb that information, to get the best out of that information, analytics plays a major role and we have none other than Pooja Agarwal right here with us who is the co-founder of Tiger Analytics, a San Jose based company. Welcome to Yo India TV with me, Jaslin Khanuja. Mm -hmm. Share your Tycon experience this year in 2018. So the Tycon experience has been good. We have, we have been a um, long term sponsor for Tycon and uh, we have been coming here for last four years. It's been always good. We get to network with like-minded people and we, we have been uh, able to get some leads and able to market our company well. So we, we like being at Tycon. It's been our fourth or fifth booth at Tycon. That's wonderful. So coming to analytics, mm -hmm. why is your company Tiger? I mean, how is it roaring on the analytics part? So the, the way it's roaring is, uh, I mean, the first of all, the reason we chose Tiger, the name Tiger Analytics, we were looking for something catchy and also something that kind of, uh, it, it has a little bit of uh, Indian connotation because it's a national animal of India and we have a large offshore delivery team in India. But more importantly, it's a, it's a very catchy name. Initially, when we started, we started with a very geeky name. No one was able to uh, catch it. We'll have to repeat it. But Tiger Analytics, we tell it to someone and they catch it. They know what we, uh, they, we don't have to remind them or uh, tell them again. So that way, it's been a good name for us. And that the way uh, it's a roaring company because we have been growing 30 to 40 percent every year and we have lots lots and lots of clients we started with a, our first client was a startup in silicon valley and since then we have come a long way when we have a list of fortune 500 companies that not only work with us they 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 always say that as a small company we deliver the best excellent uh, analytic services so i know some of the tools are very popular when it comes to etl which is like informatica power center and Currently, we have ETL, Big Data Management, the BDM that can connect to Hadoop as well, Hadoop, Hadoop platform. And um, besides that, uh, nowadays the predictive analytics mm -hmm. is a lot prevalent these days. So, which technologies are you leveraging and uh, how is it different from other analytic companies? So, that, that's where we, we try to distinguish ourselves that as a company that, uh, I mean, we started with, a, uh, with our founder it's, himself is a researcher in this area. He was a professor at, uh, at MIT, University of Maryland before starting the company. And uh, we, uh, we kind of, kind of tend to think of ourselves as someone who, who does the advanced uh, level work that the other companies who are just doing the BI, ETL work, they can't, uh, they can't hire the kind of talent we have and we are able to deliver that work because we are doing the high-end machine learning, data science, predictive analytics work that a lot of other competitors are not able to deliver because they are not able to attract the kind of talent that we have. So when it comes to machine learning, you know, mm -hmm. especially the artificial intelligence part, you know, people are sometimes scared that the robots may take over the human minds and the human intelligence, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're giving everything to them. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on this issue? So my take is that at some point in future and if there are no rules and regulations, there is a possibility someone can misuse it and there could be uh, a danger to um, general well-being. But I think we are very very much behind I mean we are not there we are nowhere close to this and especially companies like us who, who, us who are doing business we are actually using AI for the good of the business for delivering results in the business and to uh, to basically improve what we are we were already doing the people were doing manual labor to do it more efficiently and a more um, more predictable and more uh, efficient way. So it's nowhere, I mean, the, the kind of work the business like us are doing uh, is posing no threat. But even in future when AI is being used in, uh, I mean, the, the places where I see AI p uh, posing threats is, uh, is like weapons, using AI in weapons, using AI in in kind of places where security is concerned. So that's where I, I feel that there should be some kind of regulations. Thanks. Uh, what's your opinion on gun control? you think <laughs> that a, analytics it's a, it's can help very, there it's a very political topic though but um, analytics can help in a way that uh, i think the government or whoever is the regulating body can figure out uh, where to look for deeper in terms of background and figure out who needs to have more uh, background checking done and who is a safe um, safe buyer any message to your india tv viewers and probably your potential customers 
so the message here is that AI, data analytics, data science are your friend and you can do a lot of things even though you may feel that your business doesn't need it. If you look deeper there, I mean, you, you can always benefit it. You, you may not need to hire a high-end high consulting uh, company to solve your data analytics, but look into it and data can have a lot of insights for you. So are you able to help a small to medium-sized companies? We do have, because we, our roots are there, we started, I mean, our first client was a startup company, so our roots are there, uh, so we, have, we, we never shy away taking up work from startup clients. It's just that now as a, as a company who has uh, 200 plus employees to serve, we, we kind of look at the volume of work also, but we do still have some startup clients. Thank you so much for speaking with us, all the very best. Thank you.